Hi guys! Tonight I wanted to share with you a haul from the Tokyo Pen Company. Um, what I purchased from them was High Tech C Coletto Pen and Refills. I had seen this on Carrie's I Heart to Plans Instagram and when I saw the different styles that were available in the limited edition Mary uh, quant designs. I really knew that I had to have at least one. Uh, I have been wanting a high tech C Coletto pen forever since I entered the planning community. I have heard people talk about them. I was always a little intimidated about purchasing one and then when I saw the patterns that Carrie had posted I knew that I had to do a little research, stop being intimidated and just dive in. I really like the idea of having a pen that holds more than one ink color. Um, I also discovered while I did some research is that they have an eraser and a pencil insert as well and as soon as I saw that I just went crazy because a lot of times when I'm lettering I like to do it in pencil first or if I'm sketching when I'm drawing or journaling I like to do it in pencil and then uh, do it in pen and then erase the pencil mark. So that is awesome that I can have a pen and a pencil combined into one. Um, what's great about Tokyo Pen Shop for me, and it could be for others that are in the Midwest area, I ordered mine from, um, from the Missouri area, and I ordered these on Tuesday, and they were shipped to me on Thursday. And I mean late Tuesday night, and I got them Thursday afternoon. So, I mean, the shipping was almost like Amazon Prime. I was shocked. Now, that is not going to be for all of you. If you're on the East Coast or the West Coast, it is going to take longer. But I thought their shipping was absolutely amazing. I love this little sticker that came in the package. I'm going to put that right here on my uh, traveler's notebook. This is my pocket Foxy Fix in licorice. Um, I just have my Halloween bookmark on there. I make these myself in my Etsy shop. I'll link that below. I think it looks really cute with the black for the upcoming Halloween season. So I'm just gonna keep that there. Like I said, I love this sticker, so I'm just gonna stick it in my traveler's notebook band right here. And I'm going to show you the pens that I picked. I picked two. The first one is just your regular bodied four color high C, um, high tech C Coletto in orange. I just thought with Halloween coming up that this would be really fun. This is all made out of plastic. The only thing that's kind of metal is the clip right here on the top. And this was really inexpensive. It was about $4 and change in US dollars. And again, it holds four different colors. So that was the first body that I purchased. The second body I purchased was the Mary Quant. And I believe that's how it's pronounced. I could possibly pronounce it wrong because I pronounce everything wrong. <laughs> if you watch my videos, you know that. And I'm okay with that. Okay, and I purchased the dot large dot daisy or the large daisy design. Oh my God, it's beautiful and I love it. As soon as I saw this pen, I knew I had to own it. And it is gorgeous. This is all made out of plastic. It was also inexpensive in the $4 range. And I believe this one is a four color as well. So it holds four different colors. Okay, so those are the two bodies that I picked. There are tons of bodies styles that you can pick from on their website. There's even more expensive ones that are metal. So if you want something that's silver or gold or something a little bit more heavy duty than the plastic, they offer those as well. Then they offer all of the high tech C Coletto inserts. This is the fun part. This is where you get to customize your pen. You get to pick the colors that you want. If you're scared about not knowing what insert goes with this pen, when you purchase the body down at the bottom of the screen on the web page, it will tell you to click for the inserts or the refills and it will take you to the page where you purchase these. So you don't have to feel intimidated that you're not gonna get the right refill. That's one of the things that kind of keeps me from buying some of the fancier pens. I never know which refills go where. I get confused about that stuff. So this was really simple. There's also three different sizes on the inserts or the refills. The one that I chose is the point 
five. That just want, uh, is the size that I prefer. There are two other sizes, so you want to check that out. And then you can have fun and pick all of your colors. Um, I went with eight different parts because I have two barrels, each holding four. So I thought that would work out, or at least it was a good start for me. Okay, the first uh, refill that I got was the apricot. Now, it did look more orange on the website for the swatches because they do show sh swatches of the colors. So I'm going to give it a try. If I don't like it, if it's too yellow and not enough orange, I will go back and order the orange refill. I also picked up the blue, just your standard blue, also in the 0.5. Really like that. I picked up two reds. I like to do my finances in black and red. So when I deposit money, I write it in black in my planner, and when I withdraw money, I do it in red. So I bought two because I wanted each pen to have a red in it. I also purchased two of the black, and I wanted each of the pens to have black as well. And then this is the fun part. When I saw this, I was just super thrilled. The pencil refill and the eraser. I love the fact that I can have a pencil and a pen in the same unit. Um, a lot of times when I'm journaling or if I'm um, sketching something out or if I'm doing lettering, I like to do it in pencil first, then I like to go over it with my pen, and then I like to erase the pencil marks. That is perfect. As soon as I saw that you can combine a pen and a pencil in one unit, I was sold. And then the last color that I picked up was green. So the way you refill these pens, and I'll show you, it seems fairly straightforward and easy. I've never had one, and I can already tell you just pop that open. Once you pop that open, you can see there's the slots for you to put the refills in. Now I have never done this, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open some of these packages and we're gonna load this thing up and I'm gonna show you how easy or possibly how difficult this is. I'm just gonna take my scissors so that I can cut the packaging open. And like I said, we're going to find out right now how hard this is because I've never done it before. So um, I, just by looking at it, I know this has to be the part that has to stick out for you to be able to push down. So let's try this. We'll give this a try. I could be totally doing this wrong. I don't want to look up the video. I want to see how hard it is to do, how easy it is to do, how complicated it is. We're going to do this together, guys. I slid it into the barrel, and I believe that is it. Let's close it up and see if that works. And then I figure if it doesn't work, I can go to the video. And that looks like it works perfectly. Okay, so I put in my black. Let's put in another color. Uh, the next one I want to put in there is I want to put the red. So like I said, I do my finances in my planner. My deposits go in black. My withdrawals go in red ink. Okay, I'm going to look at that again. You can see the little part here. I still have the pen open on the top. Let's slide this in. Okay, this seems really too easy, so I'm wondering if I'm doing this right. Yeah, it looks like I am. That one might not be right. This one we're going to take a look at and... Yeah, that one I have backwards, no big deal. I just take it out and there we go. Okay, that looks pretty decent. I think I did that one right. Possibly not, let's see. Oh, it wasn't lined up 100%. Now it's good. So I have my black or I have my red. And you just push down the color that you wanna use. And it works perfectly. Now I have never done this before, so you can see I struggled a little bit in the beginning, but once I saw that it wasn't lined up, I could easily tell it wasn't, and I just readjusted it. Okay, let's continue to load this with the other colors. Let's see, let us do the pencil and pen, uh, eraser and pencil insert. That should be fun. 
I'm not sure which one's which. Now this one looks a little different. I might have to read about this one. This one looks a little scary. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go for it. See what happens. The worst I can do is break it. But I believe that just goes down like that. And that is your pencil. And it's not completely lined up, but I think I have it now. So there we go. Not too difficult, guys. And again, there are videos online of how to use these if you don't want to just do what I did and, you know, just test it out on your own. Now, one thing I do notice is the pencil insert sticks out a little further than the pen, but I'm okay with that. Okay. And I will go back later and read about all this stuff online to make sure I didn't do anything too incorrectly. Okay, so this has got to be the eraser. Or could be the opposite. Yep, this looks like the eraser to me. Has the nice little cute eraser top. So we're going to go back and we're going to pop this open. And I'm actually... I'm going to put this one on this side. I'm going to snap that shut. And I think that's it. I think I am all set to go. I am super happy with that. And again, the pencil and pen inserts do stick out a lot. I don't mind that. That's totally cool. I might take them out and put them in a different one. I'm not sure. But that is that. I really like that. Let's see if this sticker is easy to peel. That's one of the things. Okay, that sticker does not seem so easy to peel. Oh, I was able to grab it. I hate stickers that are difficult to remove from packaging. I'm sure you guys all agree with me. I want to take this off because it definitely covers up the pattern quite a bit. And again, it's just instructions simple picture instructions and I'm just going to peel this off slowly there we go came off nice and easy there we go now we can see the pattern a little bit better so really really love this pen let me get a piece of paper and we'll do some swatches okay the first thing is each of the little pens has this little rubber piece on the tip that you have to take off Ooh, I really, really like that. So let me zoom in a little. It's very smooth, and I like that. So this is my red. I like the thickness, the 0.5, so I made a good choice. Very smooth. So don't have the best handwriting, guys, but hey. I'm okay with that. I am really, really loving this. Okay, so let's uh, click over to the black. And I remove the little point. Let's give this a try. Ooh, very smooth. I can definitely see me using this pen a lot. I'm going to definitely have to give the other points a try as well because I did the 0.05. I want to try the other ones as well. Really happy with that. Okay, let's move over to the pencil, which is here. Okay, I'm not sure if this has a tip on it or... All right, no clue how this pencil works. I think I have to load it with lead, which I didn't do. So that I have to do some more research in. There we go. I'm doing something wrong with the pencil. But that's cool. We'll read about it. And then we have the eraser, which is super cute. I love the eraser. Yeah, that's really cool. Love that a lot. Okay, guys. So that is my pen. I'm super happy with it. Um, I'm going to load up my orange pen next. So we'll do that really quick.
There we go, we have black, red, apricot, and green, and I'll swatch these out really quickly. Okay, remember you wanna remove the little rubber piece that's on the tip. It's on all the different colors, so I'm gonna just take a second and remove those. It just protects the pen tip. There we go. Okay, you guys, you already saw the black and you already saw the red. Let's go for the apricot. Oh, and I love it. This is the color I wanted. It's like a nice, pretty, orange-ish color. It's also very smooth, but what's nice about it is it doesn't feel scratchy, and for those of you that are pen enthusiasts, you know what I mean by scratchy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna rip the paper. I really love the apricot a lot. And then we're gonna go over to the green color. And I have to say, I am thrilled that I bought this pen. And I'm probably gonna go back on the website and order every other color in the inserts and probably more barrels. <laughs> okay, there we go. I am super happy with this. Um, I'm not a fan of the pen loops in any of my traveler's notebooks. Doesn't matter the company. I like to just put my pen right there. It just seems to suit me well. And I am very, very pleased with that. That looks really cute. I love the orange one. And then we're gonna go with the chunkier daisy one. That one is gorgeous. It looks so pretty with my black. So that's it, guys. That was my um, Coletto <laughs> haul and filling up my pens. And you guys saw it was not that complicated. I did everything without instructions and with just going for it and seeing how that is. What I'm gonna do is at the end of the video, I'm gonna insert the part about the pencil where I uh, wasn't able to figure that out and show you guys how that's used properly. Okay guys, as far as the pen goes, the only thing I forgot to do was actually eject the lead. That would have helped. I didn't even look it up in a video. I just did it very easy and this is the pencil and it's very nice having a pencil with my pens really pretty neat and then I'm going to go over to the eraser and erase Very, very cool. Liking that a lot. Very cool for quick sketching, whatever you're doing. And the great part is if you put it in the pen and you don't like it, you can just take it out and replace it with another color. So that is it, guys. That was my Coletto pen haul and kind of a review. I really, really like them. They're pretty much exactly what I expected. So again, if you wanna order these, you can get them from Tokyo Pen Shop. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Thanks, bye.